Wednesday. Today I'm gonna be taking you guys along a little day in my life. I honestly had a really good sleep last night. Girl, I know you wanna say hi to the camera. Oh, are you purring? Good morning. Body check, look how big. So I honestly do feel really rested and nice this morning. I don't really have too much going on today. It's just more so I have to get a lot of editing done and we're recording the podcast. So yeah, that's the plan for today. And obviously I'm going to the gym right now with Joel. If I could though, I would just every morning cuddle them for a million hours. She's just chilling. Today's actually supposed to be a nice and sunny day, which I'm so happy about. Hopefully it holds to it because these past like couple weeks have honestly been really bad weather. So I'm excited for a nice sunny week. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Okay, let's get ready for the gym. Get our day started. <sighs> Good morning, girls. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you guys doing in here? Look at how big they are, guys. I just cannot believe it. I know I say this every single vlog, but they are growing like weeds, especially this one down here, Miss Binu. You are so big. Tupi is like a pound behind her. Last time we went to the vet, Binu was three pounds and Tupi was two. So they, that's a pretty big difference between them. <laughs> Tupi always does that where she goes on her hind legs, guys. It is so funny. It's actually hilarious. Like she, she thinks she can stand. Like she literally stands. It's so funny. Oh, are you gonna come back up? Yep, you are. You wanna use my moisturizer? Mm -hmm. They have never done this before. They are just now discovering the bathroom counter, I guess, and the toilet. What are you doing? What are you doing over there? Mm -hmm. They learn. Oh my God, look. <laughs> they learn from each other though. Like when one does one thing, the other one follows suit. Right? Oh my God, they're so good. I just can't. What are you doing? <laughs> like we're both in the sinks. I feel like it's fine if they drink the sink water. My cat used to do that all the time at my house. She would love drinking the little bath and sink water, even though it's probably not the best thing in the world. It didn't hurt her, so. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm gonna come back and all my skincare products are gonna be like on the floor, just watch. Mm hmm? Oh. Okay, seriously, I have to, I have to go start <laughs> This is so funny. Girls, what are you doing? Okay, I'm gonna actually go start getting ready and leave them because I can be here all day watching them. The chicken bone broth but i don't know i've just been getting really tired of it i guess because i've been having it every single morning and so i just have been not wanting it so i bought the beef you guys have been actually asking me what brand of bone broth i've been using and i just get this at my local grocery store so it's easy i don't need to order it and it's already pre-made because i used to use a powder one but this one's called mall butcher or no this one's called my butcher and they have <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because I said it was French. <laughs> I thought that was like the name, but that was just the French side. Their beef is kind of spicy, which kind of turned me off at first, but like I just can't have the chicken anymore, or at least for the next while. So we're having the beef, but it's actually really good. Like they're both really flavorful and they're just ready to go, which is nice. You just have to heat it up. Wouldn't recommend putting it in the microwave though, just because microwaves are pretty bad. They are so much radiation and they probably make your stuff lose nutrients. There was a test that was done that somebody tested plants and they watered a set of plants with regular tap water and then with microwaved water at the same temp. The plants that were fed with the microwaved water died like that versus the other plants. Are you meowing? This girl, I swear, she wants camera time. Huh? But yeah, anyway, so that's the brand. This is the brand that I use and I would recommend it. I used to use a powder and I don't know, there's not really a big difference between the two. The only difference is like if you use powder, you obviously need to like boil the water versus heating this one up. It's almost the same thing. So it doesn't really matter to me. I do like the convenience, um, how this, hey, oh my God. 
how this one is at my local grocery store so that's why i've been having it because i just haven't been ordering it but yeah there's a bunch of bone broth brands that i like it just depends you know and it's also good to switch it up because i get bored of the same thing really fast every day so yeah anyways probably not gonna be having this one forever because i'm gonna be trying different ones and stuff and i love trying different ones some of them are really bad though so watch out which ones you buy because some of them can be really bad i like bare bones i will link some in my amazon storefront so i I usually have like everything I buy in my Amazon storefront if it's from Amazon so you guys can always go check that out and shop it because I'm always updating it so yeah if you guys ever wonder where something is from if it's from Amazon it'll be in my storefront so it's always linked down below okay let's go to the gym got up from the gym we did a sauna session i was literally falling asleep in the sauna i was literally bobbing my head but it was such a good workout honestly it just feels so good to start your day off with a good sweat with a good workout moving your body it's the best feeling being done by like eight o'clock in the morning and then you could start your day i'm just cooking up my breakfast right now it's in the air fryer i've been looking for new breakfast ideas just because i don't know I'm always so picky about my breakfast in terms of like how long they take me to make and how many dishes. Like I'm not trying to cook up a one hour breakfast here. I'm trying to cook up a 20 minute breakfast. So comment down below, what's your guys' favorite breakfast? Because I would love to chat. We can all chat about our favorite breakfast recipes that we love and we can all share them because I feel like I'm always looking for new breakfast ideas and I always just have the same things over and over again. I used to love overnight oats, but I can't have them anymore because oats are a huge skin trigger for me and they were making my face go crazy so yeah let me know what you guys love having for breakfast um one of my favorites is this yam egg bowl that i'm obsessed with making as you guys already know and have seen me make it twenty thousand times it's just one of my staple breakfasts and i just love it so much like i crave it when i come back from the gym i am just a ravenous girl like i need to eat like i need a big usually usually i need a big hearty breakfast sometimes there's an odd time where i'm, I'm just like eh, i'm not really feeling like anything huge but most of the time i come home and i'm like so hungry which just like today let's chat in the comments about breakfast recipes because i would love that today's gonna be a beautiful day the sun just kind of behind a cloud right now but i know for the most part it's gonna be sunny i didn't really go on the treadmill that long today because i knew that i would want to go on a walk i really want to just try getting out more and get walking apparently there's this fact that if you walk like 8,000 steps a day you live way longer than the average person and i just feel like walking is such a good way like such a good form of exercise because it works everything it's all impact and if that's a fact then you're gonna see me walking more often <laughs> um i always try to do a little bit of walking like on the treadmill for 10 minutes at the gym but i do want to incorporate it since now we're going to the summer like more you know outdoor walks and hikes and just like fun stuff outside the gym is great especially in the winter time but when it's summer i feel like i want us to start incorporating more outdoor workouts like for example tennis joel and i as you guys know we got into tennis like a couple years ago but we haven't played in a long time so i want to get back into that i have a cute pink racket so 
that's definitely gonna be our summer sport and uh, at least want to do that like a couple times a week and then also lots of outdoor walks maybe finding some new hikes and just fun stuff like that because i feel like you can only really do this here in vancouver for like three months out of the year where it's nice and then the rest of the year is like raining disgusting so you don't really want to do outdoor workouts so i'm gonna try to take advantage of it while i can and just do fun things and maybe even try pilates this summer i really 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 want to try like reformer pilates on the machine so yeah i just need to find a good place get suited up in there so that's the vibe just cooking up some breakfast and then i'm gonna eat shower and then i think i have to get ready real quick because we're filming the podcast so that's the vibe of the morning iced coffee in so long but anyways talia just got here i'm gonna go let her in this is the outfit for recording i just put my hair sleek back with the bow because i just wasn't having it it's just this weird curl right now and then i'm wearing these adidas pants that i thrifted with this garage tank top and that is a little bit of the day cheers we're gonna record our summer bucket list and then she needs to leave right away because she has a busy day but I'm excited to record and this is so good this is actually so good i did half dairy milk half almond milk i don't really like almond milk on its own because it's so almondy for me and i just don't like it but that's why i did dairy milk because i'm seeing how dairy reacts with me and then almond milk so it like masks the almondness you know i don't like when it tastes too nutty but this is just perfect so for today's episode, we wanted to talk about our summer bucket lists because June is here and before you know it, it's going to be July and then August and then the summer. Stop. <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to <laughs> stop that. I know that's so sad. <laughs> don't even talk about it. But it's true. Before you know it, we're going to be in summer. So we thought, why not start a bit early? I mean, June isn't really even starting early, but technically it's still spring. It but is still spring until like June 23rd or whatever date. But honestly, in my head, June equals summer. Me too. So it's summer. It's summer. So yeah, we decided to go through our little list in our head. I wrote a couple things down and tell you guys what we want to get up to this summer. So you guys can get some ideas and just talk about, you know, what we want to do yeah, for summer absolutely. 2024 because she is going to be summer 2016 vibes. It's going to hit. It's going to hit different. Summer's going to hit. It is. Like this one is different. So I don't know about you guys, but this summer I am stacking and wearing jewelry like it's going to run out. If you've been on Pinterest recently, you already know the summer trend is to just wear so much cute jewelry. And I'm so excited to do that this summer. And if you guys want high quality jewelry made from trusted, responsibly sourced materials, you should totally check out Missouri. I will have their QR code slash link so you guys can check them out on the screen here. So go click that. They're a jewelry brand that was founded in 2015. They make pieces that are just meant to last a lifetime such good amazing quality both of these bracelets are from there and i love myself especially for the summer like a good bracelet stack i'm gonna keep these on 24 7 and they just make me feel so cute and like i have my life together no matter what i'm wearing and this is a beautiful ring that i got from them i love like the off kind of shape of this and it's just so different and beautiful i really love myself good thick rings and this one's like the perfect thickness and then i also got this necklace from them which is the perfect thickness and the perfect little daintiness this is just the absolute perfect staple piece also this would be an amazing gift for someone as well these earrings that i'm wearing from them are a little bit thinner than usually what i wear for earrings but i really really like them they're beaded it's a good switch up from like my chunkier hoops that i like wearing and i love how they're thinner because it's just something different i learned the hard way through buying cheap jewelry it's honestly just a pure waste of money because you buy a piece and then it'll last you about maybe a few weeks until it's all disgusting and tarnished so it's so much better for the environment and honestly just for your bank account to invest in good quality jewelry if you guys want to shop me jewelry and elevate your jewelry game especially for the summer scan my qr code right here also i'll put the link in my description thank you so much to Missouri for sponsoring today's video hey guys so tally and i just finished recording the podcast about 
an hour ago and I have just been finishing my video that I need to submit for sponsors so I just sent that in I just have the rough draft but I still need to like actually go in and edit it because when I do my videos what I do is I usually will just rough draft it which means I just kind of cut the clips up and then I'll go in and actually like do the edits so add the music add the text etc so rough draft means literally just me chopping the video up and then that's it like at the intro at the outro i would do that in the second step of editing sometimes i will do both at once like i'll go through the video rough draft and edit it all in one i don't know i just like to switch it up it just depends but if i have to if the sponsor wants the whole video then I'll just send them the rough draft because they don't really care about like the extra editing that I do. They just want to see the video and stuff. Anyways, just sent that in and it's currently two o'clock. Um, I'm thinking about going grocery shopping really quickly and just getting that done because I do need to go. I also need to clean out the fridge because it's just at that point. You guys already know, I just have been dreading grocery shopping lately, recently. I don't know why, I just haven't been wanting to do it. But I just have to think to myself like, I get to go and grab amazing, beautiful, yummy food off the shelf and tap my card and bring it home you know so it's not a matter of like oh i can't believe i have to go grocery shopping again it's more so like i get to because not everybody has the privilege of having amazing food at their doorstep literally so yeah anyways i don't want to complain about it but i've just not i guess been enjoying it as much maybe i'll bring headphones and listen to a podcast while I'm grocery shopping because that would make it a bit more fun. I used to have like AirPods, but I actually, I don't think I ever told a story. I left them in Portugal. So when we were traveling Europe, I had my AirPods, okay? Before we left the Airbnb, like we always make sure to do a check like inside out of the Airbnb to make sure that like we're not forgetting anything. And I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna check one more time. Like we both checked the Airbnb and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do one last walkthrough didn't see a thing and then we get into the uber and everything and want to put in my headphones and i'm like where are they like where did they go i'm like there's literally no way that they i could have left them at the airbnb because we checked that place through and through i don't even know where i could have left them because i swear i i had them anyways so the guy who owned the airbnb ended up texting me he's like hey you forgot your airpods he ended up trying to ship them to me but for some reason it didn't work out i'm just like you could keep them honestly so anyways it's not like the biggest deal ever anyways yeah that wasn't the biggest deal ever they were like the lower generation so it was like 150 bucks maybe not even so i don't have like wireless little headphones like that i only have like my beats and then like wired i honestly don't mind using wired headphones because i know like bluetooth and stuff is really bad for you and honestly maybe that's why i forgot my airpods was because the universe like was like nope you're not gonna fry your brain with that bluetooth because i've heard it's really bad to always have them in if you have like headphones that connect overhead like that's a bit different because it's not like ear to ear connecting like through your brain like the radiation it's more so just like connected through the headphones so it's not as bad but my mom was always up like our cases of not like wearing bluetooth like little airpods all the time but yeah i do enjoy some wired headphones honestly they're kind of cool and they're not bad for your brain so that was just like i feel like a sign to not use so much bluetooth because i always have them in when i was editing and i feel like i'm editing for hours so that's not very good but when i edit off my computer i literally don't even wear headphones i just edit out loud like completely just out loud yeah because the speakers on the macbook is actually pretty good or the imac but yeah so anyways i think i'm gonna go quickly just leave now before traffic time starts and go grocery shopping um and then come back clean the fridge fridge real quick and i'm gonna look up some new spring dinner ideas or summer dinner ideas but i think i'm just gonna end up making spring roll in a bowl i've showed you guys this recipe before but it's just like super easy super healthy super quick and it's been a go-to recipe but i haven't made it in a while so joel and i are both feeling that for tonight but i'm just gonna take a quick gander on pinterest right now see if there's anything else i feel like since i'm gluten-free now there's like no point of making pasta i just feel like there's no point it's like empty cart there's like i don't know you have to get like a good gluten-free pasta for it to taste good you know sometimes like one time I got, um, I got the Annie's gluten-free macaroni and it was so bad. It was so bad, but it was only bad because of the gluten-free noodles that they used. They were rice noodles and they had absolutely no flavor. Like I even salted it, salted the water and everything. It was horrible, really, really bad. It had no flavor, so would not recommend. I love the regular Annie's mac and cheese. Like that's great, but not the gluten-free one. It was horrible and it was like real cheese. So I don't get where they went wrong there. Like they should be using better noodles. I feel like it would make it a million times better. Ooh, oh my God, these shrimp tacos look so good. Mmm, with avocado and coleslaw. If I get like gluten-free wraps, that would be so 
so good. Okay, I might just have to do that tonight because that is good. And then I we could do spring roll in the bowl for tomorrow or something. I'm a taco girl. I love tacos. I feel like I always film like shorts, like morning routine vlogs and little TikToks and stuff, but I never get to editing them. I have probably like five right now just sitting in my camera roll and I haven't gotten to editing or posting them yet. So I kind of want to get a bit of that done today too. So if I go to the store right now, come back, clean out the fridge. I just got to be like quick with it. Put the groceries away and then come back up and edit. Hopefully I'll have enough time to like do that all. So anyways, that is the plan. I'm going to put on like a crew neck or something because I don't think it's very like the weather. I don't think it's that hot. Yeah, it's like 16 degrees and cloudy. So I'm going to put on a crew neck and let's head out of the house and do a quick grocery shop because we get to do this. Mm -hmm. Got to. Whenever I wear my hair sleep back and I want to put a sweater on, this is where I come into a bit of a kerfuffle because it's gonna ruin it. I really have to go like wide here on the neck. <laughs> oh, I hate this. It's gonna literally ruin it, but it's okay. I can just, I take like a bristle brush and I just like re-slick my hair. Cause like, yeah, anyways, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> I literally just take my bristle brush and then re-slick it back and call it a day. I love myself like a good crew neck moment because sometimes when I'm wearing, like if I were to put like a jacket over the tank top, I hate like, the restriction of the jacket like you got to keep it on like crew neck is just like you could do or how do you could just do anything you know just got to the grocery store and i was just thinking on the way here how important it is to have like a joie de vivre if you guys have never heard of that expression it's basically just like french for like having the joy to live there's not going to be always something to look forward to there's not always going to be something that is like stands out in your day-to-day -day life and that's why it's important to do things every single day that make you have that and that you have like a bigger purpose on why you're you want to live this life and be happy every single day and yeah i was just like thinking that it's like so important to have that and i've been trying to have that a bit more just like regardless of what's happening in my life just being happy to live and just having passion for my life and passion for what i do every day it's just so important to living a fulfilling life and i know i'm just getting deep here for a minute but it's so true like whenever i'm happy everything around me just seems to work out more and better and it's just like everything falls into place and you just have to always try your best to keep like a positive mindset about things and just know that everything is happening for the greater good and having that you know mindset really has helped me through life and have that choix de vivre because i know that everything is happening for me not to me and etc we're so lucky like this ties into gratitude we're so lucky to be here and to be living this human experience to have the body we have and to have the just the experience we have because we're all in our unique experiences for a reason like we were put here for a reason to do what we need to do and to experience this life and so i feel like it's so easy to take advantage of that every day and wake up and not be thankful for just a new day not be thankful for the food on our plate not be thankful for the roof over our head we just kind of have to be thankful for life in general and just be happy that we're alive and living and happy and healthy and yeah i feel like that just goes over my head a lot and um i need to be more grateful to just be alive and be able to do anything i want so something that i just feel like i need to start having more gratitude with like the little things actually the big things that seem little because we're so used to them you know so anyways <laughs> i was just thinking about that and needed to say it so let's go grocery shopping shrimp tacos baby Here's the grocery haul. So I got two poppies, the orange and then the cola. I got raspberry kombucha, some shrimp for tonight's dinner, tortillas. I have never tried these egg bites before. So I decided why not try them since I'm looking for new breakfast ideas. And I got some organic cheddar cheese, some pickles, some salami, some kale. I really want to try making like a kale salad and like massaging it. I got some tortilla rounds. The rounds are my absolute favorite. I don't know. They're just the best for dipping. Got some white vinegar, some bubbly water, two packs of coleslaw, some bananas, and some coleslaw sauce, some gluten-free pretzel sticks just to have as a snack. I wanted to try these. Got some yams. These are just like one ingredient cheese wisps. They're really good. And then I just got my regular from Meridian. I got some chicken and some ground beef. I'm going to put this all away, kind of clean out the fridge as best as I can without spending like two hours. Groceries 
and it's already 4 30 so i think i'm just going to start on dinner and then do editing afterwards because joel wants to eat now since he does fasting so he does like one meal a day every second day so he's hungry and he wants his meal so i'm like okay i'll just start it now i used to make shrimp tacos a lot when we lived in the apartment and they were like my favorite thing ever i don't know why i just completely forgot they existed but I'm so excited. I just have this shrimp deep thawing right now. I did forget to get tomatoes. I usually like to put tomatoes on it. But seriously, all you got to do is marinate the coleslaw. That's why I bought coleslaw sauce. It would be a sleigh if you were to make that homemade. But I'm just too lazy for that today. So I'm going to marinate the coleslaw. And then literally just turn on this little pan that we have on the stove. And heat up the tortillas, cook the shrimp, and then put avocado on it. I have a nice fresh avocado that I used this morning. I love having like a perfect ripe avocado. It's just like such a satisfying thing. And then you just put it all together basically. What would be really good on it is pickled red onions. I unfortunately don't have those either because I just did not remember that those go in it and Joel's like didn't you put red pickled onions in it and I'm like yes oh my gosh I totally forgot but those kind of take a while to pickle so it's not like I could have just done it within 30 minutes but anyway they'll be pretty good regardless shrimp tacos always slap you just have to season the shrimp really good so that it's very tasteful and you're pretty much good to go I accidentally bought the shrimp with the tails on so I'm just gonna take them off do you want help? yeah I do want help So to season the shrimp, I'm going to do salt. Don't want to over salt it, but we're going to do a fair good amount. And then obviously garlic powder. Garlic powder is just a necessity. That's why I bought this big one from Costco because it's huge and this will probably last us like a year. And then this is like the staple ingredient, cumin. You want to put a lot of this. I don't really measure anything. I just go. But cumin is, is the staple. And then paprika for a bit of that spice. All right. That's literally it. Mmm. Smells good. I'm just getting the stove preheated. I'm just gonna mix the shrimp. The shrimp is ready to go on. Now we're gonna get the coleslaw done. Maybe we should start heating this just so it's mm -hmm. good. Okay. I put oil in the pan. You wanna hear that little sizzle? Tell me actually like if this is a cooking channel. I'm just gonna do a bit, like not too much to start because I don't wanna like sauce up a whole bunch. I usually buy organic produce, but they don't have organic coleslaw at the grocery store I go to. So that's fine. Now I'm literally just gonna put the gold slaughter. This feels so lazy, but she's good. She's good. I feel like tacos are a really good summer frame dish. They're just fresh, they're good. You can't go wrong. You really can't. I usually buy a really good brand of gluten-free like flour tortillas, but they didn't have them at the grocery store I was at. So I just got these corn tortillas, which I know they're not gonna be nearly as good. But like whatever, they'll do the job for today. It's not the biggest deal in the world. And I feel like once it's heated up, it's gonna taste good. So I'm not gonna sweat over it, but I usually like a flour tortilla instead of corn. Yeah, it's not gonna be horrible. Honestly, corn tortillas are like very authentic Mexican. They're good. So this is how the tacos turned out. My corn tortilla broke a little bit, but that's okay. So ideally, I would want pickled onions and tomatoes on here. And then I'm also going to drizzle chipotle mayo. But they still look warm, and I still need to put the mayo on. Yeah, they're super easy, and I feel like they're super fresh for the summer and stuff. So this is a good recipe to add to your little list. Okay, with the tacos, you know, we ought to have a poppy. I'm doing a cola over ice because it's not um, very cold from the grocery store yet. So I feel like this is just going to hit with it. So cheers. Mm. I'm going to show you what I do for my Ninja Creamy. So if you guys have one, you need to stick around because I have been obsessed. Joel and I have been literally obsessed with this and it makes the best, easiest ice cream ever. I froze. This has actually been in the freezer for a while because I just like to prepare them. But I froze. This is about like two, three bananas and I chop them into slices and they're like literally rock solid frozen. And then I'm going to take my chocolate protein powder, put one scoop of that in. So we can make it chocolate banana protein ice cream and then just to help it blend better because it doesn't blend the best Just like this on its own I'm just gonna add a tiny 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 like two tablespoons of milk and that'll really help it blend good And that is literally it now. I'm gonna put it in the machine. Let it do it do its thing I'm gonna put it on sorbet and yeah, the machine's super loud So I'll just show you guys what it looks like when it's done but you need to try this if you have an Ninja Creamy. It's like the best thing ever. Here is what the texture looks like. It's 
literally ice cream. That was so easy, so quick, and it's delicious. This has been my hyperfixation, and it's like the best thing ever. So Joel and I are gonna split this and enjoy it. I'm just gonna put it in two bowls, and then I'm gonna put toppings on it. This is how it turns out. I like to put lots of toppings on it: chocolate chips, walnuts, pecans. She's so good and so easy and pretty healthy, I would say. It's currently 8.45 and I just was kind of chilling. I had the Ninja Creamy ice cream. It's so good. Honestly, I think that a Ninja Creamy is a good investment because otherwise I'd be spending money on like other dessert items, which would be more expensive in the long term, if that makes sense. And the Ninja Creamy is just so convenient, so easy to use, and you can make like your own healthy ice cream and customize it to, a, I feel like this sounds like an app, but it's not. You can like customize it to literally exactly what you wanna make. But anyways, yeah, I just was upstairs editing a bit, chilled, and now I'm gonna go to bed soon. Joel and I don't have to wake up tomorrow, like usually we wake up at five and go to the gym, but tomorrow our gym doesn't open until a bit later because they're getting some sort of maintenance done in the morning. So we can't go to the gym in the morning, which is fine because tomorrow's like my cardio day anyway. So I was like, Joel, why don't we go on like a nature walk? So we're gonna go on one of our favorite nature walks ever tomorrow which will be in the next my next vlog but I'm really excited for it and just to get outside in the morning I feel like it's gonna feel so good on a little outdoor walk like I was telling you guys because I didn't actually end up going on a walk today I just ugh, by the time I was done work I just didn't feel like it I get tired because I already did movement in the morning and I feel like this is something that is so easily attainable in the summer is to go walk outside in the morning I used to when I lived in my apartment I'd go with my sister all the time on walks in the morning summer mornings and i just feel like it's so nice and it's just the perfect way to start your day outside it just feels amazing and so i'm excited really really excited for that tomorrow it was so fun on the podcast episode talking about our summer bucket list because it just made me super excited for summer and i just want to savor every single moment present moment and just live in the present be present be grateful and enjoy my life in general <laughs> But yeah, I'm just super, super excited. I don't know if I told you guys, but I'm debating getting a Kindle. People have suggested it to me, like, oh, you should definitely get a Kindle. It just, like, seems so nice that you can read a Kindle, like, out in the sun, and there's no glare and everything, and you could just pay a subscription and get a bunch of books. I feel like having physical copies of books I do like, but I also feel like if I throw them in a bag, it always gets, like, wrecked somehow. So if I have a Kindle, like, it's just so sleek, so nice to just throw in anywhere. And so, I don't know, I'm debating getting one. Let me know if you have one, if you really like it, like, what it's like versus a real book and if you're a kindle stan or if you think i should just stick to books let me know because i also don't want to collect a million books because right now i just don't know where i'd even put them i do want to become more of a reader i was talking about this on the podcast especially for the summer i really want to get into reading like bring my book to the beach you know and just read a bunch i also want to read a book to get me in the summer spirit like the summer i turned pretty i already read those so if you guys have any other suggestions for books that will get me in the mood for summer let me know down below because i'm down to read a summer book that's gonna make me feel all of the things i am just craving that right now let me know your suggestions let me know if you should think i should get a kindle if you guys have one also oh my gosh it ends with us the trailer came out the movies i think it says it's coming out in august or july or am i tripping i think it's august but i'm trying to get madison my sister to finish it ends with us because i gave her my book and i'm like you need to read this so we can go watch the movie together because you need to have read the book like this is why the movie is coming out because the book has so much hype around it so i'm like begging her to she's not a reader but i'm like please 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 read this book so we can like enjoy this experience at the movies together so anyways that is coming out and i'm so so excited to watch that i hope it like lives up to the hype of the book which i feel like movies never do everyone was like so shocked at the cast honestly i did not expect blake lively to be playing the main actress uh lily i was shocked too because when i envisioned like her in the book it was did not look like blake lively like she had red like she was a ginger red hair and she just they casted a blonde which is fine because like i think she dyed her hair a little bit red for the movie but it's like she's not a true authentic gal with like red hair i just feel like it's not what i envisioned and like none of the characters are really what i envisioned i feel like everybody's on the same boat with that don't get me wrong love like lively but i just don't know if she like everybody envisioned her for that role maybe she got that role because she's like so big already so it's like gonna make the movie even bigger i don't know there's probably some like tea behind that and it's weird seeing her like on the cover of the book now yeah anyways really excited for that to come out and i cannot wait to watch it so that's also something exciting to watch in the summer actually let me just double check when it comes out it ends with us movie release date august 9 yeah i was right oh my gosh i'm so so excited i feel like that's gonna be huge like the movie theater is going to be 
pack. It's the coolest thing reading a book and then seeing the movie come to life. Anyways, I'm gonna go get ready for bed now, do some reading, wash my face, get ready for bed. And we are waking up a little bit later tomorrow, which is nice. I'll have more time to like chill in bed. Anyways, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching today's video. I truly appreciate all your support. Let's chat down below in the comments and give this video a like, subscribe. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys very, very soon.